Hallelujah. Child of God, I specially welcome you to tonight's prayers. And my prayer for you is that this night prayer will bring an end to the activities of causes in your life, in your marriage, in the works of your hands, in the life of your spouse, in your children's life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we shall be praying that God, by his infinite mercy, by his power, should break the holds of causes in our lives. Many of you under the sound of my voice are walking about today with different kind of causes upon your life. Some of these causes were not actually caused by you. It might be a cause that your great grandfather did something and it was laid upon him. It might be a cause that is attracted to you by the lineage you came from, by the village you reside in, by the, the location, the country wherein you dwell. Child of God tonight, in case you are under the sound of my voice mm, and you are suffering as a result of collective uh, bondages of causes tonight uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the reason uh, of the death and resurrection of Christ. That cause uh, and its yoke and its bondage will be broken out of your shoulders. Uh, it will be broken out of your family and you shall receive uh, your total freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that cause be unto any man that is hanged upon a tree, uh, upon a tree. And Jesus himself has come to die upon the tree to carry my cause and your cause. So tonight, what are we actually here to do? We are here to place a demand on divinity to activate the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary over our lives and terminate the holds, the holds of causes in our lives, in our families, in our marriages, in our ministries, in the works of our heads. I don't know how that cause came about. I do not know the source of the causes you are into right now. It might be a self-generated cause. It might be a cause generated by your own husband, by your parents, by your ancestors, by your villagers, by a man in your family. But child of God tonight, by one man being Jesus Christ. All of us are going to receive our freedoms tonight in the name of of Jesus Christ. With this understanding I want you to open your mind and say Lord I thank you mm, for this opportunity in your presence. I thank you Lord because I know that the power that breaks the yoke of causes is here. Ready to break the yoke of causes over my life, over my family over my household. Therefore Lord this moment I have come to say thank you in advance for what you are said to do in my life. Thank you in advance for what you are said to do in my husband's life, in my children's life. Thank you Father because you are going to rise up as the cause destroyer and destroy the roots of causes in my life today. The bondages have entered into as a result of causes and you are going to set me free and I will be free indeed with the entirety of my household. Lord I thank you for this opportunity. You never allowed me and my family to die under this cause. You did not allow the plan of the enemy which is to steal, to kill and to destroy Jehovah to continue in my life. That is why I am not taking this opportunity for granted. I come to say thank you Lord for this opportunity to pray again to pray again to ask you Lord to walk in my family. I say be thou exalted. Thank you Father for the wonders you have been doing in our lives, in our Miss from the day one of this program to this present time. Thank you, Father, for the wonders you are set to do as we continue in this prayer section. Be thou exalted, my Father. Be thou exalted, my Maker. Be thou exalted, the King of glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, right away. Mm. 
We are not vagabond children. We are children that acknowledges our father. We are children that acknowledges our father and his mighty works. Regado I want to right away to open your mouth and begin to acknowledge the presence of the cause breaker in our midst today. Acknowledge the presence of Jesus. Acknowledge the presence of the Holy Ghost. Acknowledge the presence of the angels, the ministering spirit of God. Acknowledge their presence and begin to welcome them into your life officially. To walk in your life, in your family, in your foundation, in your marriage, in every angle of your life, in your past, in your present, in your future. Open your mouth right now. Begin to welcome divinity. Begin to welcome the host of heaven. Begin to welcome the I am that I am. The El Shaddai, the cause breaker, the Lord that destroys the yokes of the wicked, the Lord that sets a man free, and the man and the woman is free indeed. Lord, tonight we have come before you, and we ask that you, God, will come and take preeminence, come and take control, come and take control, come and take control. My Father, my Maker, come and take control. You have my answers tonight, Jesus. I welcome you. Sweet Holy Ghost, I welcome you. The angels of God, I welcome you. Come and have your way in my life, in my lineage, in my village, in my country, in every angle of my life. Mm. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Raga da 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 da. Eleko zubrande gedea. Rega do shal. Raga da ya da la basu kayende ketea. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Open your mouth, child of God. And ask the Lord to have His way. Ask the Lord to have His way. Ask the Lord to have His way. Rega da 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 da. Eleko zukana. Kataya Barada, Regado Shakali Kana Prakate Ketea. Lord, have your way. You have my permission. You have my permission. Assess every angle of my life, every angle of my husband family, every angle of my household, every angle of my partner Matana, every angle of my village. Have your way. Have your way. And break every cause. Break every cause. Break every cause. Every cause, every cause that is bringing backwardness, that is bringing return that is bringing bondage, that is bringing about any kind of evil of men of any sort in our lives, in our finances, in our marriages, in our health, in our career. Jehovah tonight assess them by your power, assess them by your spirit. You have our permission. Break every one of them as we pray tonight. Break every one of them as we pray tonight and set us free, set us free, set us free. Set us free. Open your mouth out and give your father access. Give your father access. He said he stand at the door of your heart and knock it. If any man open, he will enter and dine with him. Open the door of your house tonight. Open the door of your house, of your lineage, of your of your household, of the work of your hands, and ask the Lord to enter, Jehovah, enter, Jehovah, enter, enter and have your way, dine with us tonight, we welcome you officially in this meeting tonight, Jehovah, come and dine with us, come and dine with us, change our story, break every cause, break every yoke, break every bondage, destroy the works of causes, destroy the activities of causes in our lives, as we pray tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, we are going to pray. Mm. The first prayer I want us to pray tonight is this. Father, as I pray right now, break every collective village causes. Break every collective family causes. Break every collective national causes. Break every collective regional causes. Break every collective state causes. I don't know the causes that have been released upon the region wherein you are a 
hiding. I don't know the cause that have been released upon that town, upon that village wherein you are dwelling. In the case of Jericho, the Bible told us that Jericho was a pleasant land, but the water is barren, and the land is barren, and the water is bitter. Why? Because Joshua, the high priest, released the cause. Mm upon Jericho. More than 100 years later, the cause was still there. The cause was still there. It was active. Why was it active? Because these walls will speak. They are spirit and they have life. That is why as a child of God, even if you are praying now, you are not seeing testimonies. Keep saying it. Keep releasing the walls. Keep releasing the walls. Keep releasing them. You are releasing spirit into your future. You are releasing spirit into the future of your children. You are releasing spirit into the future of your household. And when your children get there and the enemy wants to do otherwise, those spiritual wars you have released will rise up and begin to fight those enemies. And I don't know the cause that they have released upon your father's house, that they have released upon your maternal home, that they have released upon your husband's family, that they have released released upon your village, that they have released upon your country, that they have released upon your continent, that demonic cause that is actually oppression and globally, that collective cause that has put in everybody in bondage, in the same kind of troubles, in the same kind of lack, in the same kind of issue, you are going to pray and say, Father, right now as I pray, I break out, I break out, I break out from every Every collective causes and their bondages. Jehovah tonight, as I pray, I break out. Set me free, Lord. Set me free, Lord. Set me free, Lord. From every demonic collective causes that they have released upon my father's house. That cause that says that no young girl will marry and remain married. That cause that says that no man will ever grow and pass a particular age. That cause that says that no one will ever succeed in life. That cause that has brought about a lot of sickness, a lot of bondages. Lord, I care not to know how the cause came about, whether it was legally released or illegally released upon us. Lord, you said in your word that even a lawful captive can be delivered. Tonight, Lord, whether we are lawfully caused or unlawfully caused, tonight, Set us free, set us free, set us free, set us free, set us free from every cause, every collective cause, every village cause, every family cause, every town cause, every cause at all or present in the land where we do business, where we live, where we reside. Lord, freedom, 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 set us free. Whomever you set free, Lord, is free indeed. Let the yoke of this cause be broken off our shoulder, off our children, off our husband, off the work of our heads, off everything that pertains to us and our children on board. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Child of God, right now I pray for you. I don't know the cause you are under. Whether you are the one that caused it or your ancestors are the ones that caused it. Whether they were legally caused or illegally caused. So now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree you free from that family cause, from that collective cause, operating in your lineage, operating in your kindred, operating in your family, operating in your village, operating in that town wherein you reside. Every cause at all operating in that land, I decree you free from them all. No more shall the yoke of bondage of wickedness, of affliction that surround that cause walk upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are free. You are free. You are free. In Jesus Christ, most precious name we pray. Amen. 
Child of God, we are going to pray. Ragada Barada. I read something in Galatians chapter 13, verses 3, 13, Galatians chapter 3, from verses 13 to 14. He said, let me, let me read that scripture. It's talking about cause being any man that lays upon the tree. But I want to bring out a particular point there. Why did Jesus have to give his life upon the cross of Calvary? He says, so that the promise of the blessing, the promise of the blessing given to Abraham might be given to the children. Let me tell you, child of God, there is a blessing that is attached to every family. There is a blessing that is attached to every village. There is a good in every land. There is a good in every woman. There is a good in every personality. But when cause enters, it denies them of the good. Child of God, I don't know the good, the blessings, the increase, the sound health, the prosperity, the advancement, the opportunities that this collective causes that was released upon your family, that was released upon your lineage, that was released upon your kindred. I don't know the good they have denied you. On your own time, go and read that scripture. He says, so that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the children, may come upon the Gentiles, may come upon the Jews. I know you are a spiritual Jew. Are you enjoying Abrahamic blessing? You are going to pray and say, Father, every bondage at all, every bondage at all, every bondage of any sort, sickness, I don't know the bondage your family is into, bondage of retardation, bondage of pains, bondage of sorrows, you have to pray, say, Father, right now as I pray, set me free from this inherited bondage, set me free from this inherited wahala, set me free from this inherited problem that this demonic causes has placed upon me, has put it upon me, Lord, tonight, set me free and release the blessing of my family upon my life, release the blessings that this causes has denied us upon us in a hurry, Father, set us free from this bondage, from this collective bondage that this causes has brought upon us and release upon us the blessing, the blessing that is supposed to follow us, the blessing that is supposed to follow us in marriage, in ministry, in finances, in every angle of our lives, every blessing, every door that this causes has closed unto us. Lord, tonight, as I pray, open those doors, open those doors, open those doors unto us in a hurry, open those doors unto our marriage, unto our business, let every closed door brought about by the causes and the bondage of collective causes be open right now, be open right now, your doors that have closed, be open right now, be open right now, open your mouth, child of God, pray, ask the Lord, mm. To break every chains, every yoke, every yoke of that collective bondage, whatsoever that collective bondage has put in you into, has put in your health into, has put in your marriage into, ask the Lord to set you free now, 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 as the power of the Holy Ghost to walk in your family and to set your children free, to set your husband free, to set your household free, to set your work of your hands free. Lord, tonight, you have my permission. I request freedom. Set me free and release unto us every blessing, every increase, every prosperity, every favor, every blessing that this causes has denied us. Let it be released unto us now. Let it be released unto our marriage. Let it be released unto our children, even unto our children unborn. In the name name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, once again, I decree you are free from every bondage that the enemy has brought into your life as a result of this collective causes. And I command your due right, your blessings, your increase, your prosperity that this causes has denied you. I command them all released in double force, a million force upon your life, upon your family upon your lineage if I hear your amen 
And that becomes your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am not only praying for you. I am praying for your children on board. Every good thing of life that this collective causes has denied you of. Tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command them all to be released unto you and to your generations on board. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more shall this causes have holes over the work of your hands, over your marriage, over your finances, over any aspect of your life and that of your children on board. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Rega bagala barada, rega dega 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 da. Makozu brada da. In John chapter six, verse six to three, the Bible says that the walls will speak. They are spirits. And they have life. Let me tell you, child of God, it is wanting to break a curse. It is wanting to say I am free from a curse. If you don't bind the spirit that they have released in the course of the declarations they made, that evil curse can come back again. <laughs> that curse can come back again. The manifestations of that curse may not go. So therefore, tonight we are going to bind. Every spirit released by the reason of declarations of causes released upon your father's house, released upon you, released upon your womb, released upon the work of your hands, released upon your spouse, released upon your generation, released upon your marriage. I don't know the aspect of your life. Your enemies has made an incantation that has stood before an evil sacrifice. I don't know the aspect of your life. That your enemies have stood with a sham, with any kind of thing, and they have decreed something against. Her. But you are going to pray and say, Oh Lord, my Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the arrest of every spirit released by a spoken word of cause upon my family. Every spirit they have released, every spirit they have released to activate causes in my life, in my family, in my husband's life. In my children's life, in my village, in my kindred, in the town where I live. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you agents of darkness, you evil spirit, you demonic forces that have released through a spoken word. I bind you and I cast you right now into the lake of abyss. Remain there bound, never to carry out again your evil activities in my life, in my children's life, in my home husband life, in his family, among his siblings, among my siblings, in the name of Jesus Christ, you evil spirit, I decree, your assignments are terminated, but eventually, there are back of spirits that they have released, that when we arrest you, they will be activated, I command, every back of spirit, every back of forces, every back of forces, I bind you all, and I cast you into the lack of abyss remain there bound forever never again to operate in my family in my lineage in the work of our hands in everything that pertains to my husband that pertains to my children that pertains to our household in the name of jesus christ amen Child of God, I pray for you. Every spirit, every spirit at all that be released in the course of laying a course upon your ancestors tonight with the same mouth they have used to release it. I use the mouth that God has given to me as his oracle and I command, I release the angels of a higher ranking to arrest right now, every of those spirits and cast them into the lake of everlasting fire, where they will remain their bound never again to resurface in my family, in my village, in your family, in your village, in your kindred, in your lineage, in the work of your hands, in everything at 
God that pertains to your country, that pertains to your village, that pertains to your household, that pertains to that of your husband family, that pertains to that city wherein you reside. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more activities of witchcraft forces, of demonic forces released against you to activate cause in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the activities I terminate right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know, child of God, what these causes they have released has cost you. Hey, whenever a cause is released, it goes forth to begin to cause havoc. I don't know what these causes has cost you. To some of you, it has tarnished your image. To some of you, it has brought about damages to your organ. To some of you, it has brought about closing of your divine doors of opportunities to make wealth. It has brought about closed doors. It has brought about hatred. I don't know what this cause has cost you. But I'm going to pray and say, Father, I call upon you today. Purge me. Everything I told Jehovah that the deposit, the existence of these evil causes has cost me maritally. Every, oh my goodness, some of you under the sound of my voice, the Spirit of God is telling me that some of you right now, what you are suffering in the area of conception is as a result of a cause that was released. It has cost you years without a child. You are going to pray and say, Father, tonight remember me. Restore me, oh Lord. I don't know the damages the thing has cost your reproductive organ. Only you know how you got married to that man. Only you know whether you jittered a girlfriend and you took over her fiancé. Only you know whether you used to do or use, and I don't know what you used in getting married to that your spouse. Only you know. You want to say, Father, by mercy, by mercy, Lord, heal me of every damages. Heal me and restore me, O oh Lord. Restore my wealth. Restore my increase. Restore the love in my home. Restore the prosperity of my spouse. Restore everything I would have gotten by now. That this causes has denied me. That this causes has denied me as a young lady, as a married woman. And now gathered about you that Lord, I ask for the healing power. I am Anana Masuka Nakatayana. I ask Father for thy healing from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Every damaged organ receive healing. I don't know what this cause has brought into your health. I don't know what this cause has brought into your finances. Ask the Lord to heal you financially. Ask the Lord to restore back to you every losses, everything you have lost. As a man, you jilted a girl. You offended the girl. She led the cause. And from that day, your wealth has gone scattered. Your wealth has scattered. You cannot be able to produce a child of your own. Say, Father, by your mercy, heal me, Lord. I am not worthy. I don't know who you are. The Lord is showing me somebody. They put the shame on your legs. And that shame is as a result of the causes. Whenever you want to move forward, they will use the shame to drag you back. Was said, Lord, by mercy, by mercy, by mercy, by mercy. Every of the delays I've received in life as a result of this causes. My father, my maker, by your mercy, set me free from the chains of the wicked. Set my husband free, set my children free, set us free, Lord. Heal us, my father, and restore us back. Open your mouth and fire prayer as the Lord to restore. Ask the Lord to restore your wasted years. Ask the Lord to restore whatsoever the canker worm, the palmer worm, the hooker worm has eaten up in your life. I don't know what this causes has cost you. As a young lady, you have actually dated married men. Now you are married. Your husband is not having breathing space every day from one side sheet to another. It is as a result of a cause released by a fellow married woman. Ask the Lord for mercy tonight. And say, Father, mercy. Restore my marriage. Restore my husband. Let the effect of this cause be gone and be gone forever. Jehovah, have mercy. Heal my home. Heal my husband's morality. Heal him, oh Lord. Mm. 
He is innocent. He doesn't know that what is happening to him is as a result of a cause released upon you, released upon the wife. I don't know whom you are that has that word. Pray and say, Father, mercy. Father, mercy. Father, mercy. Jehovah, I ask for mercy. I ask for thy healing power, thy balm in Gilead. Let it be released right now unto everyone under the sound of my voice. Let everything at all that causes, has damaged, has destroyed, has killed in their life be restored back. Be restored back. Be raised back. Be healed. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let healing happen. Let every dryness, every dry bones, every dryness that this causes has brought into their lives receive life, receive life, receive flesh. Let there be great soda springing out of their lives and let the yoke of causes, yoke of causes, bondage of causes be broken out of their lives forever and ever. Lord, as you do for them, do not forget me, do not forget my family, my household, every damage, every damage that causes has cost us. Lord, fix them, fix them, fix them, fix them right now as we pray, fix them by your power, by your spirit. Let the power that caused the dry bones to rise within 24 hours bring about total restoration, total healing, total deliverance, total healing, Jehovah, upon our lives. Let that be restoration, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I don't know, child of God, what you did. I am not interested in what you have done. But tonight, I call upon the healing power of God. And I command that the healing power of God will enter into every aspect of your life. And whatsoever damage, whatsoever damage that causes you have caused, and the causes that your ancestors caused, and even the causes you don't know anything about has caused you. May the healing power of God, the in Gilead, heal you right now and restore you back, restore back your losses, restore back every damage, restore back everything you have lost in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree you are healed and restored, and I decree enlargement on every side for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, before we go into the communion, I wrote something down. I want to read it. That is what we call agents of causing. Agents that are specialists in laying cause. You know, in Numbers chapter 6, please let me read this scripture for you because you need to see it. Maybe you have been reading that scripture with me time after time. If some of you have known that, that is one of my warfare scriptures. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's one of my warfare scriptures. I don't play with that. I don't play with Numbers chapter 22 because it's a very interesting scripture. If you have not actually been praying with that scripture, please learn how to pray. Learn how to pray with it. It's a wonderful scripture. But in that Numbers chapter 22, verse 6, you know, Balaam and Balak, that was the Balaam and Balak interaction. The Bible said, mm, now when this king went to call the diviner Balaam, he said to the diviner that he knows that whomever he causes is caused. And whomever he, 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 he blesses is blessed. And he began to tell him to come very speedily. So he will cause the children of Israel for him because he knows that this man, his mouth, if I is, is a contractor of course, the people contract him to come and let us. I don't know who is the causing agent. Let me read that scripture for you. I'm, I'm just led to read that scripture. Please let me read it. Permit me. Holy Spirit. He said in verse 6, Come now, therefore, I pray thee. Cause me these people, for they are too mighty for me. Paraventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I would, that he has had, for I know that he whom thou blessed is blessed, and he whom thou cursed is cursed. This man, people contract him to curse people. They pay him to lay curse. Hmm. Uh, I don't know who is kneeling down on the rock to lay a curse upon your life. 
I don't know who is that AJ that is a specialist in playing courses. That the enemies of your life have contracted to keep on laying courses every morning over your head. I don't know whom they have paid, but they're going to pray and say, Father, any agent of cursing in my father's house, any agent of cursing in my place of residence, any agent of cursing in the place I do business, every agent of cursing in the school where my children are, it might be their teacher, any agent of cursing laying course upon my life, or that have been contracted to keep on laying course on my life, even when this course is broken, Lord Jehovah, tonight, I command the angel of death to locate that agent of cursing, and whomever that have contracted them against my life, and let them be massacred. Father, massacre them. If they have refused to let me go, if they have refused to let me conceive my own children, if they have refused to let me enjoy my marriage, if they say I will not eat the fruit of my labor, if they have refused to let me enjoy sound health, Lord, tonight, that agent of cursing that is after my life for evil, right now as I pray, release thy sword of war, release thy angels of war against them, and let the angel of thy presence pursue after them. Let the way be slippery and dark. You said in your word that upon the wicked, you will rent brimstone, you will rent cause of fire. You said for that, that the wicked will never go unpunished. Whomever is causing my life, whomever is causing my marriage, whomever is causing the work of my hands, whomever is causing my ministry, whomever is causing me in the name of their God, with an evil sacrifice, with an enchantment, with any evil power of any sort, right? Right now I decree, let me go or die. I release the angels of God to warn you and to destroy you if you refuse to let me go. I don't know who is causing your womb. I don't know who is causing your womb. Every night in their coven, decree that none of your sexual intercourse with your wife, with your husband will generate seeds that will last. Pray and say, Father, anyone causing the work of my hands, anyone causing in my helpers, saying that anybody that rises up to help me will go bankrupt, will go down. Jehovah, let that person be struck dead right now. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them receive your judgment right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy them. I care not to know upon which power they are standing upon. I come against them in the name of God of hosts, in the name of God of gods, in the name of the King of Kings, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I command every of their causes that have been released against me, even right now, reverse upon their head and let it destroy them, let it destroy them and their generations in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know who is the agent of cursing. That, that, that has opened his mouth or that has contracted somebody to lay a curse on you. But child of God, as your amen with thunder, I command that agent of cursing to be strong dead in the name of Jesus Christ. Any mouth that open again to curse you, let the owner of the mouth and the mouth be utterly destroyed by the angelic force of divinity. Let them be smitten instantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The same thing I pray for myself and my family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, child of God, I want you to get your communion ready. The Lord told me that this night, this communion will be a communion to destroy and to push out of our lives every deposit of causes, both in our soul, in our spirit, and in our body. Mm. When a curse is released, it doesn't just affect your physical body. It affects your mentality. It affects your soul. It affects your body. It affects your spirit man. In fact, you know the scripture said in that uh, John chapter 6 verse 63, the words I speak, they are spirit. So when they release the word, it doesn't just work 
in the uh, periphery, it doesn't just work in your physical body. It enters into your spirit, man, and begins to cause havoc. But tonight, by the reason of this communion, the Lord shall cause us to be purged. He is going to cleanse our spirit man. You remember how Jesus Christ cleansed the temple in his days on earth and he chased out every demonic priest, everybody is selling those money exchangers. I don't know what these courses have been selling in your life. I don't know the exchange they have made in your life. But by tonight coming on, the Lord Jesus will chase them out completely. You will be free soul, spirit, and body from every cause and every of its cause. In the name of Jesus Christ, very quickly lift up your communion. Lift up your communion while I pray for you on it. Lord Jesus Christ, this is just but an ordinary material made by humans, but your presence, Holy Spirit, makes it different. I call upon the power in the blood of Jesus Christ and the power in the flesh of Christ. Let it enter this substance right now, and as we partake of it. As we sprinkle our houses with it, let every cause and every spirit that is backing it or following us around be gone forever out of our lives. Let our soul, spirit, and body be purged of every deposit of causes and every of its punishment and bondages. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing us and for answering us. In Jesus Christ, most precious name we pray. Amen. Please partake of the blood. Take the flesh. Go ahead and sprinkle your house and command every spirit, every spirit flowing you around as a, that is released to follow you about as a result of the causes that your enemies has laid upon you. Command that spirit to get out of your life, out of your family. Ask the blood of Jesus to purge you, to purge your household, to purge your inside man, to purge your spirit man, to purge your soul and your body of every sickness, of every deposit, of every evil, of every everything at all that this cause has activated in your life. Let your healing be made whole. Let your healing be made perfect. Let your healing be made perfect. Let your healing be made perfect. Be made perfect. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your household. No more causes. And no agent of cursing is allowed to curse you again. Any of them that rises up against you, let the rock of Gibraltar arise and destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. I am still your sister, Apostle Amaka Samra Linus. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. See you tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow we are going to be asking God to open divine doors of opportunities for us. You know, in life and in destiny, no matter how talented you are, no matter how you quote the scripture that the gifts of a man makes room for him, if you, there is no man or woman to create opportunities for you, wherein you can display your talent, nobody will know you. Nobody will know you. So tomorrow we are going to be asking the Lord for divine opportunities. Divine opportunities to make wealth, divine opportunities to make impact, divine opportunities to affect lives. Please, 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 I don't know what you are doing for a living. I don't know whether you are a catcher, you are a businesswoman. You need opportunity for you to supply mega goods to a company, to government. I don't know, you know what I mean? So please don't miss tomorrow prayers. Don't miss it. As we pray for divine opportunities tomorrow. Your doors of opportunities will open and God will cause you to prosper unlimitedly in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you all. Stay your sister. Apostle Amaka Samalainis. Bye.